Film Effect is an all-time favorite of mine, and I honestly think that the Film Effect plugin in and of itself is worth the cost of the uh, entire um, Sapphire package. Um, it's a great plugin for recreating that film look that everyone loves so much. Um, in addition to giving you the color correction of a film look, the so most people don't know this, but the Film Effect plugin actually applies, can apply a pull down to interlaced footage to make it look like your, your footage was shot at 24 frames per second um, instead of 2997. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom in the effect editor, you can change your, your field setting to 3-2 stutter, 3-2 stutter and pick which, uh, what frame you want as your A frame. And then you can also change your field setting as well to give your, um, to give your footage a more filmic look. Um, you'll notice also up at the top that these looks are all based on actual Kodak film stocks. And that's another reason why this is why Sapphire has some of the highest quality plugins is because they really are trying to recreate realistic uh, looks. So whenever you start playing with this, I would encourage you who've never used this before to start with the preset browser. Sapphire comes preloaded with lots of presets and lots of great film looks to inspire you. Um, find one that's sort of in the area that you like, um, depending on how stylistic you're going to get. Um, early morning sunrise, I'll load that up and see how that looks. That looks uh, very nice. You notice how soft it looks here in the skin tones and everything. Almost a little out of focus, like there's a filter over the lens. Um, that's all done over here. Um, under glow, you know, so the soft focus is turned up, the soft focus setting, and um, uh, there's also a glow. We can turn the glow brightness up and down. And then once I get in, I can start playing around with the uh, different settings and figuring out what I, um, which film stock I like, and just produce the look that works best for you.